Hi, Crystal here. Um, I'm here to guide you through um, a Vata balancing mini yoga class. Um, Vata season is a time when there's a lot of changes going on, there's a lot of lightness um, and um, expansiveness that's happening. Um, and sometimes Vata is like super fun and, you know, floating around doing a lot of things, always multitasking, um, always starting new projects, and that's kind of the energy of the season, but sometimes it's also important to ground. Um, so vatas need both grounding and then also strengthening, um, but strengthening in more of like a st stable way. So instead of, um, you know, doing like a hit class, they need something more of like building more strength in a slower maybe like weights or um, holding poses for a little bit longer. Um, so today's class um, will be kind of like a little bit of a yin yang. Um, it's gonna be a quick class where you can build a little bit of strength as well as lots of grounding. Um, and we'll get started in just a seated meditation. So you can sit like me or you can sit cross-legged, whatever feels intuitive, and then just begin to close your eyes and relax your shoulders or soften your gaze, whatever is best. Maybe bring your hands to your thighs Maybe you give them a little bit of a rub, creating a little bit of heat, since Vata energy is very cooling. Build a little bit of heat in the body by just rubbing your hands on your thighs, creating a little bit of friction. And then begin to relax your shoulders away from the ears. You can slowly slow down your hands. And then take a moment here just to root down through your sit bones and relax the shoulders and reach out through the crown of the head. And then the mantra to balance this vata energy for today's practice is, I am stable, I am grounded, and I am strong. I am stable, I am grounded, and I am strong. Take a moment here to maybe set an intention for this quick class, a word or a phrase you'd like to embody or invite in, or maybe you take that mantra, I am stable, I am grounded, I am strong. Take a deep inhale and a cleansing exhale. One more like that. Take a deep breath in and a deep exhale out. Open up your eyes. Inhale, swing your arms up and overhead. And then bring your hands to your heart center. From here, we're going to come into our tabletop. We'll find a couple of cat cows. So Stacking our shoulders over our wrists, hips over our knees. We'll drop the belly, open the heart, lift the gaze as we inhale. And then exhale round as you drop the head, you drop the tailbone. Drop the belly, open the heart, lift the gaze. And then exhale round. And then we'll come back through center. We'll start with some of that strength building. Um, we're going to do it from a grounded place. So because Vata energy is airy and spacey, it's kind of more in the atmosphere. We're gonna stay down low um, towards the mat here, keeping ourselves rooted in towards the earth. But we're gonna tuck our toes and then lift your knees just a little bit off of the earth here, coming into this floating tabletop. You're gonna to gaze at the top edge of your mat. You're gonna press your feet and your hands down and towards one another, feeling a little bit of that asymmetrical pull, creating a little bit more heat. Notice if you're rounding or arching your spine, can you kind of bring it back to a neutral stance here? Feel your thighs begin to build some strength here, your shoulders, your core. We're really gonna be focusing in on our legs and feet today um, as we're gonna connect to that root chakra, that earthy chakra that really helps balance out that vata energy. The vata energy lives in those upper three chakras, so we're gonna try to bring it down. Take one more deep inhale, and then exhale, drop your knees, drop your belly, open your heart, lift your gaze, and then exhale round. Come back through center. We're gonna build a little bit more heat like that. So we're gonna tuck our toes and lift our knees off of the earth. And then we're gonna extend the left leg back behind us. And then the right coming into our plank. Setting up in this plank, shoulders are over our wrist. We're kicking through the heels. Slight tuck of the tailbone. Press your chest away from the earth. We're gonna bring our left knee back into that floating tabletop. And then the right. And we'll go to the other side. So we're going to extend the right leg back, then the left, right knee in, left knee in. 
You're gonna drop the knees, drop the belly, open the heart, lift the gaze, and then exhale around. And then we're gonna go to the other side. So this time we're gonna extend our arms out in front. So we're gonna tuck our toes, lift our knees, create that heat. And then we're gonna extend the left leg, left arm, sorry, out in front, and then the right coming into that plank. And then we're gonna send the left arm back into the floating tabletop, and then the right. We'll go to the other side. So right forward, left forward, right back, left back. Drop your knees, drop your belly, open your heart, lift your gaze, and then exhale around. Come back through center. From here, we're gonna find a child's pose, a super grounding pose here. We're gonna let our toes tuck, our knees go wide. And then we're gonna extend our arms out in front of us. Dropping the head down, maybe the third eye comes to a block or to the earth, whatever feels comfortable. And then just begin to settle in here, feeling your hips melt down and away from center. Your heart's melting down, your arms are reaching. You're breathing deeply. With every exhale, feel your hips melt down and away from center, creating a little bit more space. A little bit more softening, a little bit more opening. With your inhales, maybe you feel your arms go a little bit further out. Here in this space, as your third eye is touching the earth below you, can you gather up some of that earth energy through that third eye space here? All of that energy that is stable, that is structure, that is solidness and groundedness. Can you tap into that? Notice where your body is touching the earth below you. And allow each and every part of the body that's touching the earth to absorb some of that earthy energy. Maybe even feeling a wave of calmness and groundedness flood over the body. We're here for just a few more breaths. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling completely. Deep inhales. And cleansing exhales. A few more like that. Breathe in. And breathe out. Slowly walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. And then we're going to sit back onto our heels. We're going to tuck our toes. Coming into our toes pose. Make sure the pinky toes are also facing forward. Sometimes they would like to hang back. Your shoulders are gonna be over your hips. But if this is too much already, you can keep your hands out in front of you. You can bring blocks underneath the knees. Um, you can try different variations here. If you're going for it, your shoulders are over your hips. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and just feel the stretch at the bottom of the feet, right? The feet literally root us down into the earth below us. So begin to connect to them here as we don't connect to them very often. So just begin to breathe into the sensations, <sighs> allowing yourself to stay present instead of distracting yourself and going somewhere else because it's uncomfortable to feel that sensation and you try to be here now. I know it's tough, we're only here for a little bit longer. To feel your feet feel opening. The shins for me also feel very sensational. Take one more deep inhale here. And then exhale, walk your hands forward. Very gently untuck your toes. And then you can tap the tops of the feet down to the earth. And then we'll get into the ankles next. So begin to Keep your toes untucked as you sit back onto your heels. You're welcome to bring a block underneath you if you need. Getting into the ankles here, we'll bring our right hand to our right thigh. We'll press down onto it. We'll use our left hand to peel under this left knee to lift it up. And you should feel a nice stretch in the front of that left foot. Breathing here. Sometimes it's hard to find balance here, so engage your core, relax your shoulders, find that non-moving focal point. Take another breath 
here. Soften and stay. One more deep inhale. And exhale, let that go. We'll switch legs here. Left hand grounds down onto your left thigh. Right hand comes underneath that right knee and then you lift that knee up, creating that ankle stretch here on the front of the right foot. Breathing deeply. Relaxing. And then slowly release that down. We're going to build a little bit more heat, a little bit more of that stable um, strengthening that Vata energy needs. So we're going to come into our plank. And then I suggest bringing our knees down unless you have very, very strong triceps. You're welcome to keep the knees up. We're going to find five chaturanga push-ups. We're going to do it super slow, so not in like a fast moving way. So trying to connect to that slower energy of the earth. Engage your core here. Shift your shoulders a little bit forward in front of the wrists and then bend your elbows down, keeping the elbows really close to the sides of the ribs. And then slowly press up. And we'll do four more like that. Coming down very slowly, engaging. And then pressing back up. Coming down slowly. Press up, we have two more. Lowering down slowly. And then pressing back up. Last time, lowering down. And then pressing back up. And then you'll just sit your sit bones back. You can relax your arms down by your side for a fetal version of Balasana, relaxing your head down. Take a moment here in this little ball. Slowly extend your arms out in front of you, coming back onto your hands and knees. Drop your belly, open your heart, lift your gaze. And then exhale around. All right, from here we're gonna come onto our sit bones. We're gonna sweep our legs out in front of us. We're gonna come into some forward folds. Um, so we're gonna press our heels forward, toes towards our face. You're welcome to grab a strap. Sometimes it's nice to not have to kind of pull yourself forward. So just relax your shoulders away from the ear. If you tend to hyperextend the knees, you're welcome to bring blocks underneath them if that feels better. Wherever you are, root down through your sit bones, lengthen your spine, and then slowly begin to walk yourself forward. Trying to keep a straight spine at first, but once you feel that edge, that area where you're like, oh, I can't go any further, you're welcome to just relax and round there, right? We're not pressing ourselves in this rounded position. We're just kind of relaxing into it. Taking a moment here to just drop your head, maybe shake it out, yes and no. Connecting to the hamstrings here. Breathing into this shape. See if you can relax your shoulders a little bit more in this shape. Can you relax your jaw? The area between the eyebrows. Maybe with time you can go a little bit deeper. Maybe soften a little bit more. Connecting to the grounding energy of this shape. Can you let your body feel like it's melting and sinking down into the earth below you? Feeling your torso just begin to grow heavy, growing denser over the fronts of the thighs. Slowly begin to roll yourself out of this shape. Shoulders are over your hips. And then we're gonna bring our hands down by our sides here. We're gonna do another slow um, strengthening shape here. 
It seems kind of ridiculous, but it actually builds so much heat. We're just gonna lift our right heel off of the earth, just a little bit, just like two inches. And we're just gonna keep it there, <laughs> building this strength. Toes flexing towards the face, engaging the entire quad, feeling that strengthening in that quad. Quads are also connected to the root chakra, so building the strength in that earthy element. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. We're gonna keep the leg lifted, keep it lifted, and just bring it out to the right. Feel that strength, keep it there. And then I know I'm leaning back, can you <laughs> not do that as well? So bring your shoulders back over your hips. And then slowly bring it back, keep that leg up for another second or two, and then release it down. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. So lift that left leg off of the earth just a couple of inches. So the heel is just hovering here. And then notice the sensation rise. It's a lot, that's okay. Try not to distract yourself, stay present, even though it's hard. And then we'll bring this leg out to the left. Breathing here. Bring it back through center, keep it up. And then bring it down. Bring the soles of the feet together, slide the feet in. I'm um, not super in like a, that butterfly pose, more like a diamond shape, like we would in a yin class, getting into the inner and outer hips. And then open up your heart a little bit and then just begin to surrender down, bringing your hands to your feet, maybe you begin to drop your head, maybe you nuzzle yourself in a little bit more, relaxing your head, shaking it out, yes and no. Settling into the shape, breathing deeply. Forward folds are always so grounding for me. Maybe we come back to that mantra we set in the beginning of class. I am stable. I am grounded and I am strong. Letting go of any of that airy energy that's affecting us, us, affecting us negatively, that energy that kind of gets us anxious or gets us multitasking in a way that's non-productive, the energy that wants us to start new projects before finishing up the projects before. Can we begin to build some structure, some routine in this season? Whether it's coming back to this yoga class every morning or any yoga class every morning, whether it's just connecting to your breath on a regular basis, keeping a routine on what time you sleep and what time you wake up. All of these things can help balance that vata energy. Take another moment here. I am stable, I am grounded, I am strong. Slowly begin to roll yourself up. And then we'll lay down onto our backs. So slowly just begin to recline back, letting yourself come all the way down to the earth. From here, we're gonna bring our hands behind our head and we're gonna lift our knees so that they're in like a tabletop position. And we're gonna build a little bit of strength. And instead of doing bicycles in that fast kind of hit way, we're gonna do it very slowly. So we're gonna extend that right leg long, and we're gonna to try to touch this right elbow to the left knee, peeling that right shoulder off of the earth. And then very slowly come back through center, both elbows go wide, knees come in, and then the left leg will extend, left elbow to the right knee. Slowly come back through center, knees come together, elbows go wide, and then we go to the left. Center. To the right. Moving in a slow, intentional way to build a little bit more strength, 
building heat in a strength way instead of a cardio way. Center. Right. Center. We'll do two more on each side. So to the left. Center. To the right. Center. Left. Center. And right. Come back through center, hug the knees into the chest, and then extend into your Shavasana. Extending the legs out long. Maybe bring blocks underneath the knees or the thighs. Begin to bring your hands to the earth, but bring your palms down. Maybe grabbing some more of that earth energy out through the palms, bringing them up through the arms, the heart, up through the upper chakras, radiating down through the lower chakras. Take a moment here to connect to the earth element within the body. It's all that is stable, all that is strong and rounded, slow and intentional. Connecting to that earth element around us, it's that earth that holds us here in this space. We can begin to connect to it by noticing where our body is being supported by the earth. Within the body, it's the bones and the muscles. So noticing each and every bone and muscle within the body, noticing the weight, the width, the density, begin to allow all of these muscles to grow heavier, that earth energy of heaviness. Can you allow them to descend down? If they grow heavy, they sink into the earth. Noticing the feet, the ankles, tracing your awareness up the shin bone, feeling it grow denser and heavier, softening the calves and the knees, running your awareness of the thigh bones, noting those weight and the width of the thighs, softening the muscles around it, the quads, the hamstrings, softening your glutes, allowing your pelvis, your hips to relax down, tracing the awareness up the spine from the low spine, mid spine, and upper spine. Softening your rib cage, your shoulder. Allow the upper arms to relax, elbows, forearms. The palms of the, ha of the hands release. Each and every finger grows heavy. Trace your awareness back up the arms, the drape of the neck, the back of the skull, all begin to grow heavy and denser. The jaw softens, the eyes soften. The crown of the head softens. Breathe in, fill the body with prana, with life force. And as you exhale, feel the body connect to the earth below you as it grows heavier and heavier, denser and denser. You feel your body sink into the earth below, fully releasing, fully relaxing. Shavasana. Take a deep inhale. Cleansing exhale. <sighs> Begin to invite movements in the fingers and the toes, the wrists and the ankles. Slowly begin to make your way onto your side body into a fetal position. Maybe the left side body, the lunar side of the body, the yin side. And then press yourself up to seated. Sitting in a comfortable position, just begin to relax your shoulders away from the ears, your hands can come to your heart. I want to thank you so much for joining me in this laptop pacifying practice today. I hope you feel grounded, stable, and strong. The light, the shadow, all that's within me, in me, bows down to all that's within you. Namaste.